how to create a stop motion animation in Photoshop. What's up YouTube and welcome or welcome back to my channel. On this channel we talk about everything to do with food photography. So if that interests you then definitely click subscribe down below. In this video I'm going to show you how to create a stop motion animation just like this one. So I created this stop motion on Photoshop. Stop motion is a series of the same image with a very slight difference so they sort of create kind of like a jittering video when played together this is actually how all movies and cartoons were made so it's quite fun to make them ourselves recently they've been getting a lot more popular on social media like instagram people are doing full recipe videos of stop motions just to add a bit of fun quirkiness to the normal standard recipe videos they're definitely becoming a lot more popular with things like food and product photography or videography. So it's really useful to have this notch under your belt in case any clients want to create one. I've been practicing quite a lot this year with them and I'm gonna lay you in on a few tips on how to create your own. The first thing we need to do is take our images. A really important thing to remember here is use a tripod. Anything you're not moving for your stop motion needs to stay the same to make it work really well. So the best way to do this is with the tripod. I cannot stand still taking the same images again and again, it just doesn't happen. There is no set number of images for a stop motion, but generally speaking, the more you've got, the longer or more detailed the video or sort of GIF is going to be. I didn't take too many in this shot. I wasn't actually intending it to be a full stop motion. I was just expecting to get two that I liked and make a sort of little GIF out of it but when I got the images on the computer there was a few that I really liked so I thought let's go for it let's make a stop motion now we've got our camera set up we need to take a series of images with something very slightly different in each image to sort of tell a story or show movement Now we've got all of our images ready, let's hop on to the computer and first we're going to be popping into Lightroom. So now we're just going to go through and edit our images. I'm just going to edit one to begin with and then I'm going to copy over the edit onto the other images in the series. I'm just going to quickly fast forward through this edit for you. Now we've got the image edited, just select all of the images after the first one and press sync. This will copy the edit from the first image onto all of the images after it. I'm just going to quickly go through and do some local adjustments to individual images, just like the ones with my hand, they get a little bit more shadowed, and just to make sure they all look perfect. Now it's time to open the images in Photoshop. So make sure you've got all of the images you want for your stop motion highlighted, and then right click and then go down to edit in and then open as layers in Photoshop. When you're doing it yourself, this part can take a while, so definitely maybe go and get yourself a drink while you wait for them to open, but I'm just gonna fast forward right through it for the sake of the video. Like I mentioned earlier, I wasn't expecting to have so many images I liked for the stop motion. So when I was taking the images, I think I may have just nudged the tripod slightly when pressing the button, but I can easily fix this using auto align layers. So to do this, just select all of the images and then go to edit and then auto align layers and just have auto selected and then okay. What this will do is just match up all of the pictures so they align perfectly. Just to make sure you've not got any edges showing, just crop in the image slightly. So now as I flip through that you can see that they all align perfectly. So as the stop motion is playing, it's gonna run a lot smoother. Now it's time to create our stop motion animation. So to do this, we just need to get the timeline window open. So to open that, just go to window and then timeline. This will make a gray box at the bottom of the screen appear. And in the middle of that box, this should be create frame animation. If it's not there, just select the little down arrow and make sure create frame animation is selected. And then click the create frame animation button. This is gonna bring your first layer into the window. To get the rest of them in, select all of the layers, click the little more button and then make frames from layers. 
This is going to bring all of our layers into the timeline panel. It's going to place them in the wrong order. So to fix this, just select all of the frames in the timeline panel and then back onto the more button and reverse frames. Now as you flick through, you can see that they're all in the right order. I want my stop motion to play backwards after it's played its way through. So to do this, I'm going to select all of the frames and then copy those frames back on and paste the frames. This will copy the exact frames onto the end of the timeline, but the new frames I need to reverse again so they play backwards. Now, when we flick through our frames, we can see it goes forwards and then backwards in a sort of loop. This means if it's playing forever, it'll never just jump back to the start. It'll always kind of go around like a never ending cycle. What I'm gonna do now is change the amount of time between each frame. So just select all of the frames and click one of the little arrows and then decide what time you want between them. At the moment it's set at zero seconds which I just don't think is enough so I'm going to go for 0.2 which is just going to give it a little bit more time between each picture. So the last thing to do before we export it is decide how we want it to play. So if you click at this little menu here you can decide if you want it playing forever, three times or once or other. I want mine playing forever so it plays on a loop again and again. Now it's time to export and save our stop motion. So to do this just go file and then export save for web this is going to open a pop-up window and if we just make sure that gif is selected on the second drop down menu everything else would probably be about to be set right i don't change anything else but i do go down here and change the size of it this is going to make it a much smaller file which is going to make it suitable to go onto social media like texts instagram facebook and all that kind of stuff so i'll just give it a quick play over to see it all works well now we've got all that sorted, we just need to click on save and pick a name and exactly where you want it to be saved. So that is how we create our stop motion. They're super fun, super catchy, and as you've seen now, really easy to make. Adding a few of these to your skill belt is gonna be really, really valuable to brands and companies. It's closed. So, where was I? Being able to create these stop motions for brands and companies is going to be really, really valuable for you. And as you've seen, they're super easy to make, so you should definitely go ahead and create some. Now you've seen exactly how I made my stop motion, I'd love to see what you guys create. So if you do go ahead and create any of these stop motions, tag me on Instagram at amphotographeruk and I'll definitely have a look at what you guys post. If you like this video guys, give it a thumbs up. Tune in next week for my behind the scenes video for the pancake shoot I did. If you follow me on Instagram, you'll have seen it on pancake day. It took quite a while to do and it was a bit wacky to create. So you should definitely watch the behind the scenes. I'm sure there's some really funny clips there. Bye guys, to brands and companies.